Hey everyone, welcome to Carberry Castle. This fantastic ruin here, and it's the first time I've been here now. I just checked at the pub um, in Carberry. They said, yeah, there's no problem, you can come up here. Um, so, I'm gonna go and take a closer look. Enjoy. Oh, the castle was built by the Bellinghams. And uh, this is their mausoleum over here. And obviously there's a, wow, well, looks like that's the ruins of some old church. That's definitely the mausoleum. I was told by the shape. And that looks like it used to be maybe a church or something. You can always tell by the bell tower up there. Hmm. Oh, okay. Let's go take another closer look. Wow, that's an early grave. Look at that one. Is that 17? 1778, right there. Wow. Yeah, when I asked um, about coming up here, they said, yeah, no problem, just watch out for the bull. <laughs> so I'm just keeping a weary eye. There are the cows over there, so. Wow, amazing view from up here. So just keeping an eye out for that bolt. And I've uh, got a quick exit right there, if I have to. Anyway, let's see what we can uh, see in here. It's obviously in ruin, so the gate's open. Oh. It's what they refer to as a vaulted ceiling bricked up that's the basement yeah, this would have been a really awesome building and check those Jacobean um, chimneys we're going to take a closer look up there shortly wow yeah, a couple of interesting finds there it might be a roof tile of some sort there's a bit of plaster Check that out. And I found a bit of glass as well, but it looks like it's got the coating on it. Unusual. It means it's slightly old. It might be, obviously, it's, it'll probably be a newer date. I just thought I'd show those off. Yeah, this section here is quite overgrown. Check those chimney stacks over there. Very nice. You still see some of the, uh, what do you call it, the plaster rendering? Still, still on the wall there. Wow. Let's see if we can try and get down there. Yeah, apparently the castle had um, a sort of overwhelming view here on the actual hill, so it could pretty much see for miles, and you can clearly see. You can clearly see why. You can still see some of the original windows and that there. Has to work there still in good order. Hmm. Well, I've checked those walls. Wow, that is an impressive sight. It's a pity it's not complete, obviously. Just imagine what this must have looked like back in the back in the day. You still see those walls still look pretty good if you look from this level here. Then the moment you look up, it's in, you know, the usual. It's wrecked. But wow. Hmm. Hey everyone, I just thought I'd finish off here. Um, there's no metal on the site by the looks of it. So I found some interesting bits. Um, look at that. I found just just now. I found this piece of glass, hand blown. 
and it would have been a quite a wide stubby bottle it could have, this this could be an onion bottle uh, you can see there that how it's hand finished so it's quite an old one but I'm not sure on the age onion bottles I don't know 1700s thereabouts maybe that's if it is what it is but it's I just found it there on the surface this is an interesting one I'll come to that one you, you saw that earlier looks like a bit of tile I still see some of the uh, glazing on it. And then we've got a bit of uh, plaster. And then this interesting piece is a Tudor brick. How fantastic is that? Tudor brick, but they were quite small. They were all, all hand, you can, you can see there by the crudeness of the design. These were all hand uh, done and then of course um, heated. Look at that. It's only a piece of it, but a fantastic find because this dates it to this, to well, Elizabethan. Um, you're probably talking uh, the Tudors, so hence why it's called a Tudor brick. But um, that's pretty. There's no marks on it. Maker's mark, something like that. But very unique. I'm definitely going to take that home. Probably going to take a couple of bits home. I'll leave the onion bottle uh, piece behind. But have a look at that whole section of the walls collapsed. Well, this is me finishing off here. Thanks everybody, please subscribe, share, like and comment, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.